A mysterious respiratory illness has spread to dogs in multiple states across the nation. According to experts, there are no confirmed cases of the illness in Pennsylvania, but veterinarians say it is important to remain vigilant. 2822 News reporter Amelia Sack joins us live in the studio with what experts know so far. Amelia? Candace and Paula, good evening. Veterinarians are still learning more about this illness, but they say there are some symptoms to look out for, and they have some tips on how to keep your furry friends safe. It's cold and flu season for humans, but many canines are also catching a cough. A mysterious respiratory illness is making its way to dogs across the country. However, experts say many details about it are unclear. Honestly, we don't know if there's a new virus or pathogen of any kind. Um, it may just be an uptick in, in normal respiratory cases that we see, but we don't know if there's an actual new pathogen at this time. What experts do know is that it cannot be spread to humans. Dr. Dorton says there are certain symptoms dog owners should watch out for with this illness. Coughing, sneezing, uh, ocular discharge. It spreads through droplets, the same as any other respiratory illness or virus in dogs. Usually between coughing, um, dog to dog and direct contact. Experts say there's a few steps you can take to help keep your dog safe. If your dog is symptomatic and coughing, it's best to have them seen by a veterinarian. Your dog should also social distance from its fellow four-legged friends if it's feeling under the weather. Just be a little bit precautionary and, and keep them away from other places uh, commingling with other dogs, so groomers, doggy daycare, uh, boarding facilities, those kinds of things. And just like people, veterinarians recommend that your pet stays up to date on vaccines. Experts say the illness typically isn't fatal and should resolve itself within two weeks. Now, again, there is not much that's known about this illness and there are no confirmed cases in Pennsylvania. But if your dog is experiencing any symptoms, it should be seen by a vet. In the studio, Amelia Sack, 2822 News. All right, good to know. Thanks, Amelia.